Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz, filling in for Robert Osborne this evening. Up next, in our Star of the Month salute to Melvin Douglas, we have one of his specialties, a light comedy. And he's in some great company in this movie, sharing the screen with Cary Grant and Myrna Loy. From RKO Pictures in 1948, it's Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House. Douglas made the movie under a new contract he'd signed with RKO. At the time, the studio was being run by Douglas's longtime friend, Dory Sherry, who offered Douglas a good deal. He'd make just one film a year for the studio and have approval of the project. If Douglas didn't like the script, he didn't have to make the picture. And Douglas wasted no time invoking the power that script approval clause gave him. He did it on this film. In the movie, Grant and Loy play Mr. and Mrs. Blandings. They're city dwellers who decide they want to live in the peace and quiet of the country. So they buy an old house, but then discover they have to tear it down and build a whole new structure, their dream house. Melvin Douglas plays Bill, the Blandings lawyer and friend. He's also an old boyfriend of Mrs. Blandings. Bill offers his cynical commentary during every point of the house building process. That touch of irritating cynicism in the character came about only when Douglas invoked that contractual clause and insisted on some rewrites. He liked the story and thought it would be a charming movie. He just didn't think his role offered much. So he sat down with writers Melvin Frank and Norman Panama, expressed his concerns, and soon after a rewrite was in the works, one that made Douglas a happy actor. From 1948, directed by H.C. Potter, here's Mr. Blandings Builds His Dream House.